right, dude. I've, I was going back and forth with some things, but I was too. Shout out to you got the computer again back to back, man. I I like this Deke. I like it too. Um, All right, here's what I'm doing here. (laughs) At number 10, I went back and forth with this between, I'm not going to say who, (laughs) but you'll you'll figure it out whenever I say 10 and 9. All right, let's go, let's go. (laughs) I'm going to, I'm going Keenan Allen at 10. Okay. Number nine, Chris Godwin. Okay. Number eight, I got the goat. I got A, B at eight. Okay. And then at seven, I have OBJ. Mm-hmm. Six, Devontae Adams. This one was tough, too. I think an argument could go either way for four or five, but I'll give the body work for four. Uh, mm-hmm. Five is Tyreek Hill. Okay. Four is Mike Evans, Mm -hmm. three DeAndre Hopkins, two Julio, and one Michael Thomas. Do we have the same list? (laughs) Hold on, hold on. I feel like I missed somebody. Did you say OBJ or you said OBJ? Yeah, I have have OBJ at seven. At seven. AB is at six or AB was at eight? AB's at eight. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I could dig it. What do you think, man? I could dig it, man. It looked like my list was the same. Like you, you were actually shocked there for a second. Well, no, I, I mean, I figured you would throw AB on because I know anything still related. You gonna have a guy. Listen, here's the thing with <laughs> no, no. Here's the thing with AB though. Mm-hmm. I would still take him right now. Like okay. if he came into the league next year, mm-hmm. I would take him over Chris Godwin, Keenan Allen, and everyone else underneath him. Okay. My point is too, if you were to put him in some of these even top offenses like yeah. Mike Evans. I think definitely an argument with the Browns too. Devonte Adams even maybe like yeah. I think AB would become wide receiver one on those teams even with some yep. of those elite talent there already. I just can't put him over those guys right now based off of them continuing to play and then they have the same similar type of body of work to AB not yeah. on that level but you know right. they've been they're in they're in the conversation yeah them. yeah so that's why I can't re- be putting AB over them right now. I just okay. think AB's on a different level than everyone that I have underneath them. Fair so enough. I think. That's what I mean. I think there's an argument that, you know, can you be putting him in that top five or six right now? But I'm going to give the nod to the other guys that have played last season and have that body of work. With Fair them. enough. Although it's not been on AB's level. A- AB's, AB's a little up there in age. So okay. I'll, I'll I'll say that maybe as a, another knock for AB against those guys. All right. I can dig it, man. So, so what are you thinking, man? All right. So I just throw this out there. AB's not on my list. I said, man, he didn't play last year. And right now he's well, not signed. So... That's kind of why I stood here, with Here's my other thing, though. Here's my other thing. All right, let me hear Because we had Lev Bell on our top five running backs last yeah. year. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to do that with AB. But I think if it I was totally it different situations because we knew AB was, I mean, we knew L. Bell was going to get signed. We knew L. Bell, he already had an offer to play. Remember, he was sitting out because if he didn't want to. Well, he was already on the Jets. Tech. He was already on the Jets. Yeah, yeah, okay. So either way, he was going to play. Either way, he was going to be playing. Either way, it was no. Is he going to get signed? Is he not going to get signed? There was no curiosity about that. There was no, oh, he's going to miss eight games on top of that either. So that's why for me, my thought process with L. Bell is totally different. Whereas with A.B., A.B. No, was right. out the league last year because of disciplinary. So He's going to miss eight games this year because of disciplinary. And he's still not signed right now because of those disciplinary. So we don't even know if he's going to get signed, if he's going to play this year. A lot more question marks around him. So that was why I didn't have him on my list. I agree with that. So I'm basically going to say it's the same thing with Bell. Mm -hmm. Play your way out of the top 10 then. Mm -hmm. That's it. So if, yeah, if he comes back and he doesn't look the same, then he's out of the top 10. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm taking him over all those guys that are underneath him at 8, 9, or he's at 8, and then the the guys that are at 9, 10, and, you know, from 11 to 20. 